I want to show you how to make an hourglass on Desmos. We begin with the hyperbola. Not an ellipse this time. It begins with this equation here. And the, the alternate, which I'll show you later, is, is y squared minus x squared, and that'll get you the hyperbola facing the other way, up and down, instead of left and right. And I found that a stretch of one and a half, if I can get this working correctly, uh, works works pretty well for for our hourglass case. And we also want for a way to close the top and bottom here. This is this is going to form the outside. And for that, we're going to use an ellipse. An ellipse, you should know pretty well, is formatted x squared plus y squared equals 1. That gets you a unit circle, and then, then you want to, want to uh, manipulate it so that it fits what you want it. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a vertical compression by a factor of 3. And I want to move it up by 2.65 and I want to, I want for them to have a radius or, a, or an overall radius of 2. Now, the way this works is you, you start with an ellipse with with the uh, with the radius of 2 and then you move it up by 2.65 units. And then you compress it by a factor of three on top and bottom, totally nine. So to figure out how much how much of this you need, zoom in on here, and I want to hover my, my mouse over this point here, and I see that this is two point five seven seven five. So that's the number we're going to use. And for the bottom, this is going to be a mirror copy of what we have on here. So grab this, or you can go to settings, duplicate. This would be y is less than the negative of that. Move this down instead of up. And you see that we've mirrored the effort on the bottom here. And this number is going to be the boundary that we're going to, that we're going to use for this hyperbola. You want the minus of that, that's going to be the lower bound. If you started with the upper bound, uh, you would need to flip, flip your signs here. All right, now, now we want the inside. For that, we're also going to use a hyperbola. We're going to start with this equation here. Let's put some comments. Uh, to write comments, uh, you, you, you use the quotations. And this is going to be the sand that goes on the inside. This one I want to keep it very simple. We we'll use the same equation. Um, differences: we're, we want to flip the direction. We also want to make this smaller so that so that um, so we have at these two closer to each other. And this one we're, we're going to work on a fly on how much we want it to be. You can make it however you want. I want to use 1.5. Then we want to close the top and bottom. And for this one, I want to cut this off. Let's let's do let's do two and a half. And and um, you could make two lines. You you could do you know x equals two, or rather y is.
2.5 and y equals minus 2.5 and, and then you draw your boundaries there um, what I found is that by various typos surprisingly enough that I like to do y squared is equal to that I want to square it and now we're going to bound it between these two points here. So you can see that we're really doing it once. If you want more precision, you can zoom in and you can get more decimal places. Uh, but for, from a distance, it's not going to make it. It's not going to matter. Of course, we need to use the boundaries to find here. I want to temporarily disable this so we can see what the y value here. That is. We could have figured that out from here. So that boundary is going to be from minus two and a half to two and a half. Let's make this sand colored. And then finally, if you want to fill the inside, why not? We're already here. We're going to use inequalities, and I believe for inequalities, we can actually just reuse this equation here. So instead of that, this is my first time trying it out. There we go. All right, five equations, got a okay looking hourglass. I hope you found this useful. If you did, consider leaving a like. If not, let me know what, what you want to see. And also, taking suggestions. This is, this is the first time in a while we, we, we've used, in a long while we've used the hyperbola. And so, so, if, you, so uh, if you have other cases where you want to see this, uh, drop in the comments. That's a, that's a great place to put it. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.